Hello, welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a homeschooling mum of three in the UK and today is day three of our not back to school week. Um, I wanted to show you our forest school, school? Forest school hall, forest school hall. La 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 la. <laughs> that's too difficult to say. Um, once a week, the big children attend a forest school and four days a week, Albert um, attends a preschool. Um, ideally, I only wanted him to go two or three days a week, but, but he's much more settled if he goes several days in a row, so he has an extra day. Um, he only goes for mornings. But I, everyone needed new backpacks and new lunch boxes and new clothes and things. So I have got this all laid out to show you what we got. So let's go to me trying to do some shopping in TK Maxx, Sports Direct and Aldi. Okay guys, I'm gonna go and look at the backpacks and I'll video call you when I'm in there, okay? <laughs> See you in a bit. Hey guys, so that was me trying to shop on my own for the kids' lunch boxes and backpacks. Um, I didn't want to take them in with me because it was really busy. Um, so I managed to get everybody backpacks and lunch boxes from a few different places. We also did a, a Argos order of um, actually things from their school section, um, which is a bit, it feels, felt a bit strange. Um, because what I had found is that the children for forest school needed the outfit they were wearing and then at least two spare sets of clothes and Albert needs the same for preschool um, and I was finding that stuff especially at forest school was getting covered in mud was getting wet in the winter and was just completely getting completely trashed and then I was like oh for goodness sake well now like you've got all of these clothes um you know your home clothes are getting trashed and then you can't really wear them anywhere else because they look horrible so I decided this year to buy them essentially a homeschool a forest school uniform and a nursery uniform so they would only wear those clothes for forest school or preschool um so i'll just show you an example of what we got i literally got for, for charles and bessie they got jogging bottoms they got a plain white t-shirt which we are going to tie dye for their for a video for their channel for next week um so they're all going to be dyed then they've got hoodies and jumpers again these are just these are actually school jumpers but they're really really thick and warm and soft and then they've got um then they've got pants and socks as well so they've got all of their spares in their bags and they've got that outfit ready to go i'm also going to make them little tiny bags cotton bags that i'm going to hang um up either in their rooms or in the hallway oh you see yeah with their day's clothes in if they've got an activity that day so there's no accidental wearing of other clothes they just know that that's what they're wearing so in tk maxx that was charles's bits i just showed you in tk maxx i picked him up this harry potter lunchbox i'm not overly into harry potter myself more let me rather less so since it became incredibly obvious that jk rowling rowling is a trans exclusionary radical feminist um I have a lot of people in my life who I love that are transgender and I just cannot get behind anyone who is transphobic um, but Charles loves the idea of Harry Potter um, I don't think these are licensed products so it kind of makes me feel a bit better and it came with this cool drink box a drink box drink bottle and then I also got him this little um, pot uh, for yogurt or dip or anything like that um, we also got these really really cool stickers um, from tiny me um, and they've all got really cute um, 
pictures on each child has their own ones they do like a letter of the day quite often where you get the stickers for free you just have to pay postage so charles got animal ones bessie got unicorn ones and albert got vehicle ones um so yeah they're super excited about those uh, i don't know how well they're gonna wash but we'll see so he has got his harry potter lunchbox and he has also got a harry potter backpack and it's I think it's supposed to be a Gryffindor backpack, but it kind of looks a bit like a satchel. So it's really cute. And that's got his um, his spare clothes in and it'll have his waterproofs in and all sorts like that um, for him to take to forest school. So Bessie got this LOL doll backpack. Um, she's never had an LOL doll, but I think she likes to watch YouTube videos about LOL dolls and that's why she really likes it. Again, well, but she is drinking from it right now, so I couldn't show you. And she, again, has a little pot for yogurt. And uh, she also loves hummus, so they might have something like that. Um, I'm also thinking of getting them, like, a soup pot for to put, like, pasta in or rice or something like that with, with something so it can be a bit more filling at lunchtime. And again, she's got... A jumper and then she's got this exactly the same items in there as Charles except obviously her own pants and stuff. So Albert, I video called them while I was in TK Maxx and that's and I was able to and then they picked, were able to pick their own things. Albert picked this Paw Patrol backpack, of course he did and he has again the same stuff, pretty much the same stuff. He has um, a couple of jumpers that are his, um, are branded with his nursery logo on and he is really really into yellow so he has got some yellow polo shirts that are adorable same tracky bottoms as charles and bessie and then he got some really cute vehicle pants with the days of the week on and the hope that he will learn to start recognizing them and again he has another nursery jumper that has the nursery logo on um, I don't usually buy them, but they came up second hand. That one was given to me by the nursery because someone was just throwing it away and it was one of their old ones that they weren't using any, the, the old logo, but it's still the same. Um, and then the other one I actually got on a free site. Someone was like, oh, you know, I'm getting rid of this nursery's clothes. Does anyone want them? And so we got a t-shirt and a hoodie for free, which is awesome. So Albert also has a baby shark lunchbox, but he is holding on to that right now. So he won't let me have it. Um, he has also got some stickers there, uh, you can see his little name, and he got, I got this little lunchbox from Aldi for, I think it was 2 .99, and it comes with a little knife, a little fork and spoon, sorry. Um, it is supposed to go in this little bit here, but it's, there we go, it's really, really stiff to get in and out. I think you really need to give it a good... Um, Albert's not overly a fan of sandwiches, um, but we have been, we're trying out having our hot, on days that feels at work, having our hot dinner in at lunchtime. Um, so, yeah, so he's, we're trying that out so that we can spend more time together in the um, evenings. Uh, so he's going to have things like chicken pasta or egg pasta or whatever, um, and you can see the little, little fire engine on there on his little sticker, which is really cute. Um, yeah, so we're trying, so I'm going to put like things like, um, chicken and tomato pasta in there with some veggies in or, you know, like a rice salad or anything like that. Just little different things so he can not have sandwiches, um, every lunchtime. Um, so my hope is that these clothes will stop their home clothes getting trashed. Um, I did... So I really, really enjoyed sharing this forest school haul with you and I can't wait to share some clips with you of them going back to forest school. We'll go back next week um, to nursery and to forest school and they are all so excited and they can't wait. It's absolutely adorable and I will share some footage with you um, when it comes time for it so you can see them going off. Um, I'm a bit emotional but it's only for a day. It's not as <laughs> it's one day a week. It's not like it's a big deal. But um, I will catch you tomorrow for day four. We are we are like halfway through now, guys. You've been with me for three days in a row and I'm so excited now to just keep going and to see so many new people coming and joining us. It's really awesome. So keep commenting, keep giving me thumbs up if you like what you're seeing and don't forget to subscribe because every time you subscribe, I do this. Yay! Okay, 
And if you want me to keep doing that, I will even video myself doing that and put it on Instagram to prove that because, you know, every time I get a subscriber I do a happy dance. I'll do it. I'll do it. Have a great day, guys. See you tomorrow.